that's the picture that he attempted to paint. Um, I, I don't know who, who he was able to convince of that, but certainly he did not convince public officers of that, uh, who are the individuals that would be uh, more impacted. Um, we have initially put out a, 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 an information sheet to our members, which shows that um, contrary to the prime minister's assertion, public officers uh, would be giving up far more and way more than the prime minister and his ministers. Um, and we will continue to highlight this, uh, showing uh, the different numbers. And as I did in a previous interview, I showed that if a junior public officer was to give up his $900 increment that the PM spoke about, uh, in 10 years time, when that junior public officer, if, if we're talking about someone who's four to five years old and, and, and below a pay scale of, of 10, um, uh, if you look at an increment of $900 per annum, um, that individual would effectively be giving up $9,000 over the course of 10 years, while the prime minister, junior minister, who he spoke highly of, who would be giving up $4,500, um, would merely be giving up about $5,000 $5,100 if we look at that over a 10 year period. So the $900 that the, the $900 increment that the prime minister is talking about is not a one time foregoing of, of, of $900. It's, it's something that you will be foregoing up, on the time you, up until the time you exit the service. And so we're saying, um, based on the time value of money, there is no way that we will agree to give up far more than what the prime minister, his ministers, HODs, and CEOs are prepared to give up.